In this video, I'm gonna show you a quick way to verify the files that you migrated using Power Query. We're gonna go through how you can find missing raw data from one source to another. And I'm also gonna show you how you can look through each of the different columns if you have a lot of columns to look for the discrepancy between these two data sources. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So this problem was actually inspired from a work scenario that I faced. So imagine a scenario where you're in a business and the business has completed its data migration. So that means moving the data that they have from their legacy systems into the new systems where um, the business will be using. Now the migration process is done and the business is asking for verification that the migration was successful and the only way to do that is to compare the tables that you have, the data that you have from the legacy system into the new system and you imagine you have thousands and thousands of rows and also a number of different columns and you don't want to be doing this manually, right? Um, and now I wanna show you how you can do this quickly and easily with Power Query. So let's go to the example that I prepared for you today. So here is a Power BI report that has some data, sample data that I prepared for you today. We have two tables here. Let me just expand it here. You see that we have two types of people data, uh, people data legacy, and people data migrated. Now, both of these tables, both of these sources have almost the same data. And what we're trying to find out is what are the differences and if there are any. Um, in preparation for this demo, I've changed a couple of different columns just so that we can see how you could compare these two together. But just imagine that these could be from anywhere, right? So at the moment I pull these data from Excel because that's where I created them, but it could be coming from a SQL database or from a different online source. Now, if we quickly create a count on each of them, so let's do a count of the migrated data. We'll do that, migrated and then we'll create another one for the legacy you'll see that on our legacy system it says that we have a thousand rows whereas in our new system on the migrated it says that we have 995 so we are missing five rows of data in our new system now how do we find out what those are now, let me show you how you can compare these two using Power Query. Now, let's open Power Query from this window. Let's create a reference to any of these two. It doesn't really matter. And we'll, we'll name it Delta, something recognizable. So now what I've done is I've created a reference. So we don't touch these two and I'll, I will show you why in a bit, why I do that. Um, but for now, we are doing all of our transformations here in this uh, reference. So this is the legacy system. The quickest way that you'd be able to compare the legacy against the migrated is through merging. So what you'll need to do is click merge queries from here. We'll need to merge it at the moment to the migrated because this table is already a legacy. And now we will select the ID. So these would be the same for across these two. So we, we will match them through their IDs. And what we'll do, we'll change the join kind to a full outer. This makes sure that if there are any missings on either the legacy table or the migrated table, they will be shown as a new row in our results. Now in a previous video, I covered the differences between these different join kinds in Power Query. So if you're interested in why we're using full outer join or how you can use the other kind of joins, check out that video, it's really helpful. So now we'll click OK and we will expand this by clicking the arrows here and we'll just leave these like that for now and hit OK. So now you'll see that it puts the legacy and the migrated rows side by side based on their IDs. But now you will see that 
the people migrated the people data migrated has 995 uniques and if I hover over that you'll see that we have um, it's not the same right so these this is what what is missing so you'll see at the bar here that there we have five less than one percent that is empty so if we filter those empty ones you'll see that now it brings us up the val values that are missing in our new migrated system so i can see that um, IDs 151 to 155 is missing in our migrated data. So let's verify that that is the case, that we're missing these ones. So if you remember 151 to 155, let's go back to our migrated query. So let's scroll through that. Here we go. So you see that we are definitely missing that data in the migrated table. And that shows you the quickest way that you can compare two data sources together and finding some of the missing values on either side of these sources. However, you notice that we have a lot of other columns that we have inserted and we want to make sure that for every single column, each of these row values are exactly the same between these two. Now, how do I do that very easily? And it's also quite easy. So let me just show you. So let's go back to our delta first and let's remove these queries that we did. So let's just delete until the end. So that deletes all of our steps that we have created so far. So what we'll need to do, we'll need to unpivot these two tables. So let's do that. So from here, we'll need to highlight the ID. So whatever we want to uh, use. So this is our primary key. So we'll unpivot from here and you right click and you unpivot other columns. What that does is for all the other columns in your table, it puts them into a, a single column attribute and the values between those two, be, between all of those columns are put a, in a single column as a value. And I'll show you why you need to do that in a second. We'll go to the migrated one and we'll do the same. So unpivot other columns. And at the moment, the data themselves here are already um, preset. So that means the name of the columns are the same, uh, but you just need to be aware that if you want to compare two data sources against each other, they need to have the same column names. So now what we'll do is we'll go to our Delta um, and you'll see that it follows everything that happens in our query here and I will do another merge and we will do merge again against the migrated data and here what we will do is we will merge them not just with ID but against its attribute as well so what I'll do I'll click ID and I'll hold control to select multiple columns you'll see that we have two columns selected on the uh, people data for the legacy and we'll do the same here for the migrated. So ID, control click. And what that will do is it will match these two, um, these two tables against their IDs and attributes. We will hit now, um, we'll do an out full outer as well. And we will hit okay. Now we'll expand this migrated column that we have to just the value and you'll see why in a second. So now, firstly, what we will need to do is go to add column, create a conditional column. And now what we'll need to do, um, we'll create a new column called is match, and we'll compare the values against these two columns. So value is equals to the migrated value. So what we're saying here is if it's a match, so if the, these two values are the same, then it's a yes. And then if it doesn't, it's a no. If we hit okay, here we are. That's our new calculated column that we have created. Now we will filter this to just show us those non-matching values. We hit okay. So you'll see now that it shows us all of those values that we have at the beginning. So we found out that they don't have a value on the migrated table. So we can see they are from 
151 to 155 and we know that because uh, they were missing um, they were missing from the beginning so that's why they're not matching so they are showing us no on my grid because it doesn't exist now if we filter this even further and we just we w didn't want to see the nulls because we know we already know what they are if we're just looking for strictly any values that aren't the same between these two tables here's what they here's what we have so we can see that for this id and um, we have a last name on our legacy called uh, the name is barley but it's different in the migrated table it's it's actually barnet so let's check this one right so let's check the 171 so if you remember that let's go here and let's uh, let's see if we go back up before we unpivoted so 171 the last name is barley and then if we go back to the migrated if we now go one step up let's compare that 171 here we are so it's completely different it's barnet actually so that shows us that there is some differences um, between these two tables and the beauty of this method is that no matter how many columns you have or no matter how many rows you have the process stays the same so that means if you want to verify the integrity of your migration data as long as they are pulling from the same place you can just reuse this power bi report and you don't have to do any rework at all which is fantastic and that's it for this video i hope this helped you understand how you can use power query to compare two different data sources against each other. I'll leave a download link down below if you want to use the files that I used for this demo. If you like this video or you have any further feedback, let me know in the comment section box below. Get in touch using the social media links that I included in the description box below. And thank you so much guys for watching. See you again on the next one.